What is that? Just somebody send the hospital. Send the doctors. Get the pills ready, because I need it. <laughs> no, it's either that or I'm completely sane and realize what's going on exactly. Well, seriously. Okay. I'm going to <laughs> show you some of the most ridiculous stuff I've ever found in my life. Now, all this is basically the genesis of the 9-11 truth movement, all that bullshit. Seriously, everything I'm researching, it all ties together. It's unbelievable. I mean, the story I'm telling is not even, I seriously almost don't believe it myself, but if it wasn't for the fact that I've been studying this stuff diligently for years now, I wouldn't believe it. Honestly, even just saying it, it's so weird. Okay, so basically, uh, let me be very brief relative to how long I'd like to talk about it. <laughs> basically, people are using events drastically. And I don't even know why it's... I'm surprised myself. I mean, the Boston thing, believing it, and Sandy Hook and all that. Why wouldn't they do other false flags? So apparently they're doing a lot of them. A lot of little tiny ones, for many reasons, it seems. Probably having people that they can use elsewhere. Fake deaths to... Um, use people in other missions and whatnot, as it were. It's all very, very much connected. It's quite obvious if you look at it very much in detail and big picture and all that. Seriously, it's so crazy. Um, now, basically, the only... Let me sort of tie Boston in a little bit. I mean, this isn't Boston here. This guy died specifically. But um, I'm going to tie in one of my pieces of research. Basically, the only common thread and... This is it, honestly. This is the common thread amongst everybody there at Boston. You can say it's the government, that they all work for the government, they have connections to that, or security type things, whatever. Um, but essentially, it's all people that they can trust. That's what they got. That's what they're using. It's people they can rely on. Um, this was the creme de la creme. These were the A students. Um, these were the people that really, really cared. Uh, these were the motivated people. These are the people who actually want to make a difference in the world. And that's why they're used, because they, they know, and they go to them or whatever, because they know these are the people who are going to do this stuff. These are the people that are extremely motivated and can be either manipulated by the government easily that way, or but these are the people that are very emotional, very deeply involved in this kind of thing. Um, I mean, it's, it's very specific, but it's that it's all the same thing. Everybody shares these characteristics, all this this false flag stuff. Basically, everybody's used for, uh, you know, this big purpose, honestly, of manipulating us. These psychological operations are very simple, but, um, I mean, it all ties together. It's all the same big picture. Uh, I mean, this firefighter here who died, there's two who apparently died. Let me get to this story at hand. And it's very extremely, here we are, these, these two firefighters, very extremely, as far as I'm concerned, suspicious um, incident. And you may say, oh, it's a natural fire. How is it suspicious? Look at how big the flames are. And understand, I understand all that stuff. I really do. But we're looking at it under this different context, okay? This is me trying to explain how I see this, these things. And seriously, I, like, just go come with me on this. And if you can't, then fine. Please, like, shut off the video now. And if you're with me already, then that's totally awesome. And I love it. I'm talking with you guys here. But... Um, so basically, <laughs> yeah, this entirely suspicious incident right here. These two guys are apparently dead. No. Okay, so there's a fire, fine. They're apparently the first two. I'm just trying to read about this, but they were the first, this guy's the first one in. He put his, he's the water guy or whatever. He goes in and, and uh, he's the first one to, to start it. So these two guys go down in the basement there where the fire started. And the first one's in. And... This guy, right here, is gets out right away. Uh, he dies, they, they get blocked in somehow, or whatever, the fire gets them, and they, they do a mayday even, or whatever, and they say, there's even, they have an audio, it, it sounds so sketchy, the guy's like saying he's running out of fire, out of water, like, uh, as if they don't know to feed him water and stuff, for example. Um, but, and, and so they can't, and so they get his body out right away, however he ends up dying, and, and the, the, the cop, or the, the head fire guys, or whatever, they're, if you listen to the interviews, they're the ones saying like, oh, it's, it was crazy. I've never seen anything like it and stuff like that. And, and so just sort of seemingly, and they were like saying, oh, wait for the investigation and stuff. Just very, if you look at it uh, in detail, very suspicious. Um, their lack of uh, concern or 
specificity, specificity. They're not trying to uh, just basically describe it the same way that they would if it was just a very natural thing, as far as I'm concerned. Um, this is all with everything, the whole context of everything. Um, so they didn't get this, this guy's body out here until 7.25, I believe, or something like that. Hours. I don't know how they couldn't retrieve this guy's body. I'm assuming they went very right next to each other. It's a small building. There's only so many places you could hide. Did things fall on them and they couldn't get them? But when did they just leave people? When does that ever happen? It does not make any sense. They don't do that to people ever. It's just, I mean, it, under very extreme circumstances, I understand how it's possible and they do that. But no, you're not going to leave. Everybody's going to be like, all the... I, I, now listen, if any of you guys are firefighters, I don't know, that'd be cool, but tell me, seriously, like, w if there's a situation where your guy is trapped or whatever, how many of you guys aren't going to say, let's go in there? And I know it's like, oh, often you could say, oh, give up, the building's going to collapse or something or whatever. There's got to be some circumstances where, especially in a big fire, and that fire looked big, but where you leave the guy or whatever. But just another thing for this story. Unbelievable. Okay, so this guy here. Oh, and another detail. What drew me to this? How I ended up finding this guy? He apparently helped people in the Boston Marathon incident. Yeah, he was the guy who ran in to help. And the thing is, I don't recognize him from the pictures and everything. I don't know, maybe he was in there somewhere or whatever. But yeah, he was there apparently. Another guy dead who helped, who was involved. Other than that, say the police are not of guy or whatever. I mean, another coincidence, of course, maybe. But um, I'm just trying to add all this up together. It could be absolutely, let's just say this was completely natural. I'm serious, I'm saying that, okay? I completely will concede that this obviously could simply it could be a complete um, misinterpretation this is a natural occurrence all this stuff easy he went in there they got trapped they died end of story I got it okay let's assume that and how I look at everything is I try to prove it to myself okay so I'm I, I theorize okay we got a plan that or a theory that okay so it's sketchy what look into whatever so theorize that okay this guy maybe is used for this part of this all these other things whatever this guy didn't really die or whatever, or under s suspicious circumstances. I'm just trying to see what happened. I looked into this case at all, just with open mind, just assuming he died. I, I wasn't even going to, I almost gave up looking into this. It was a simple thing. It was like a video. I saw the big picture of the fire or whatever. It was like, oh, well, he died or whatever. I'm not going to look into it anymore. And I dug and I kept digging. And, and I seriously, I almost gave up again. It's like, whatever. It's just, you know, he's dead or whatever. Who cares? It's just like somebody I can cross off the list. But the thing is, I'm researching this Boston thing. So every single person that was there. I'm trying to dig into it as deep as I can. So this thing is, I I just about gave up, but I found this very, very fascinating thing. So, now, okay, because he was in Boston and he died here, that's not necessarily anything by itself, right? Now, here, I'm trying to shock you guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm showing it, I'm telling it how it happened to me, basically. So, guess what, though? Seriously, it's not over. No, 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 no. This is not over. Yeah, you want to see? I've got further proof. This shit just got more real. Yeah, yeah, it gets deeper. <laughs> okay, so here we are, my friends. This is simple. This is the fire, all right? This is the genesis of it, apparently. I got it. It's the nine alarm blaze. I didn't even know. I thought there was five, by the way, but apparently it's so. And it makes sense. It's the most, um, whatever, important to the highest level of red alarm with a nine alarm fine they call that just another example of okay so it's very serious there's a lot of people in on this and by the way it's a training exercise is what i was gonna get to that's my theory so this is an all on all hands on deck this is a test everything thing just like boston okay so here we go this is whatever the start of it so showing that i don't know i mean you can, can't even really tell but so it started somewhere and it was you know, a little fire or whatever, and they, and so you have to think about it that way too. How do they normally tackle the situation? Do they get themselves into places that they're, you know, likely to get trapped and stuff like that? And generally not. And I, I understand it happens; people die, but you know what I mean. There, I don't know. They're gonna look at that as they pull up to that in their fire trucks. They're gonna know sort of what to expect and all that. Okay, we know that, right? These are professionals, apparently. Okay, so well, now we've got fair enough here. Let's go to these little things here. Now these are just tiny clips. I don't know if they're provided by, I have to check the source on here, but it could be just the Boston Fire Department itself because uh, I did see a picture and it said courtesy of the Boston Fire Department, or BFD I believe it said, um, in one of the articles. And so they are, it seems like they're providing their own um, footage. Anyways, and then number two and three, 
Look at this. Either way, so it's this. This is the fire, okay? And now, I, you could go into. I'd love to know who's. I could keep researching, but who owns these? Uh, who called it in? Okay, I mean, you can go into it a lot, but now, okay, now. <laughs> oh, the best one. Here we go, guys. <laughs> Here's the, the cream on the top, the cherry, as it were. Now, <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful. Now, we've got a long video here. Let me just see what it, okay. Now, it's this guy talking about the fire, as if it happened. I'm guessing I'll let it play. I wish we could, I wish I could know if, we can all hear the sound. I've got the earphones in and I don't think everybody, everybody can hear the sound, but it's recording through the earphones. If it is, I'm over top of the sound of that and it's annoying. More annoying than my voice normally is. So, either way, let's look at this. Okay, so here's the footage, more footage. It's just getting there, I'm telling you. You'll see, I'm gonna start pointing out when shit all of a sudden gets obvious now. See, this is the drill. Like I'm saying, okay, here we go. What we've got is typical bullshit. This is reminiscent of you guys. You know if you're researching this stuff. If you're in on Sandy Hook, Boston, Aurora, wherever else, Santa Barbara, all that shit. This will look so familiar to you. Okay, here we go. Okay, guy smiling. Hey, look at that fucker smiling. This guy, I love it. He's out all the time. Yeah, it's drill day. Not really working. And see, all of a sudden, we get, the, look, this is supposed to be a body on here, this is supposed to be somebody. I don't see anybody. It could be, there's a little hand there, it looks like it doesn't move, it's very awkward, awkardly positioned. Okay, I'm telling you, and look at this fucker, right, who the fuck is this? What is this about, is this what they do, is this what happens, do they wrap their heads in that to prevent swelling or something? And look at his hand. Seriously. You've gotta be kidding me and I paused it and it does not look for the life of me like there's a body on that thing and they're talking as if there is and of course this guy I mean that is ridiculous look at him I mean he's gotta be <laughs> he is just drill guy injured firefighter number one right <laughs> so everybody's painfully aware of this guy with the camera of course I think this is like yeah Boston Herald right so this is like basically the Boston Globe this is like infiltrated media right here giving us giving us this fucking thing here I wonder what these guys what happened to their footage if the cops talk to them afterwards but okay so here look looks like we've got a bit of a belly and look there he is there's his arm you see look there's his arm this is a fireman apparently oh oh cut away cut away oh yeah I don't know I don't see a head or anything Looks like there's a glove with a, some newspaper stuffed in it. This guy is, you know, see, he's injured firefighter too, like just a slightly injured guy. Oh, and then watch, of course it doesn't drive away right away. They're just like, oh yeah, it's, there's nobody in front of it either. It's just like slowly, I don't know, is it starting to move yet? Oh, you're going to tap on the back or is, no, you're going to make sure the door is closed. Everybody walks away slowly. Oh, watch this. Okay, this, look at this. What is this procedure? I don't know how procedure works normally in these things. I am not, you know, into the details, but... Oh, who the f... Okay, I gotta end there, right? That's a high note. That's ridiculous. I'll see you guys later.